The other day, someone asked me why I wear sunglasses all the time. In which my response, it's better to see the shade that way. Because you see, without the glasses, I'm blind to the fact that all oh, y'all some fucking haters, so no. You can't smile in my face and laugh at it later. Not gonna allow you to call me sis, yet you allow other people to dismiss me with the bullshit. Y'all bitches, <laughs> y'all weird. <laughs> And call me crazy for protecting my energy, but I'd be damned if I'm going to be sage in my house every time you come and leave. Leave me be. All right. Keep all that weird-ass, fake-ass energy away from me. I promise I'm not pressed. I mean, you don't impress me enough to be your friend. Not when I cringe every time you speak to me. See, I literally can feel the heat waves coming off your energy. And what it says is we never really had chemistry. See, we connected simply off the same friend of me. You know, mutual friend, can turn enemy. We bonded tragically and now magically we found ourselves here in that weird space that some people call a friendship where the relationship is held much higher than the, the pedestal is actually on. Something they said that you'll learn in your 30s and that's learning your friend and learning that friend and learning and being okay with the way that that friend can show up for you because see it's never been about the material things but more so the material of things like the cloth in which you're cut from. <sighs> I don't even hang with my friends no more because they ain't even my friends no more. <laughs> See, when I stopped entertaining what wasn't entertainment, I realized the problem was me. Coming into these people's lives equipped with all these qualities that they don't deserve and damn sure ain't ready to adapt to. It's me, I'm literally the piece that's disturbing their toxicity and it's the drama. It's the drama that keeps them going, right? Fuck, I knew I was gonna do this shit. I knew I was going to do this shit. I knew I was going to do this. I'm sorry, y'all. All right. When I stopped entertaining what wasn't entertainment, I realized the problem was me. Coming into these people's lives equipped with qualities that they don't deserve, never experienced, and they damn sure not ready to adapt to. I'm literally the piece that's disturbing their toxicity, and it's the drama. The drama that keeps them going, that's why they secretly don't like me, because see, with my presence, I'm forcing change behavior. So my bad, let me move out the way. Because misery loves company, and I ain't coming over. Boom. Oh.